What metrics to track using social media? When it comes to reading the results of your efforts, social media has made it very easy for businesses to gauge their success. The numbers are there for everyone to see, and there are no lies here. Well, almost. You can't create goals if you don't have access to these metrics, because it lets you make sense of what kind of strategy is working for the people and what you need to do to make it better. Engagement. This is the first metric you need to understand, because this is more of an umbrella term. It contains the following. Likes, comments, shares, or retweets are all individual metrics of engagement that add up. If you are checking Twitter, you can get a report which summarizes all the engagement for a specific tweet. Then there is the engagement rate. This is the number of engagements divided by the reach or impressions. When the numbers are high, you can rest assured that people find your tweet or post interesting. When it's organic, it means that you are able to create brand awareness without having to prompt action from the users. That's a good sign too. Impressions and reach. These are two other metrics that often confuse businesses. If you are working towards improving or even understanding brand perception and awareness, you need to look at these. Here's how you know the difference. Impressions tell you how many times a user saw it on their timeline. Reach, on the other hand, tells you the possible number of unique viewers your post could have, well, reached. Typically, this is calculated by adding your number of followers and the follower count of the accounts that shared your post. Referrals and conversations. Typically, e-commerce websites start by keeping track of these two metrics because they are directly linked to marketing and sales. This is the goal of every business, but you will need to devise a publishing strategy with tracks if you want to understand the traffic analytics of your website. Referrals tell you about the users who actually land on your website. You can see where these users came from, and typically, you can see your social media traffic under a separate tab no matter the tool you are using to get the information. Conversion is about the purchases made on your site. A viewer has been converted into a paying customer. A social conversion is one that happened because of the content posted on a social media platform, and it all happened in one go. You should also learn about click-through rate, or CTR, when it comes to both posts and ads. This is a number which tells you how many times a user has clicked on the content of your posts. It gives you the data on impressions because they saw the ad or post too. When the CTR numbers are high, it means you ran a good ad and got results. This can be measured using email links, call to action buttons, and specific social media ads too. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.